the most important nonverbal, I think, that cannot be understated in this, and we see it all the time, and it's why we do video work, is too much positive body language. Now, on this podcast, it's going to be a little bit difficult uh, for us to go through this, but this is going to be on YouTube as well. So the first, the front half of me is positive body language. If I was shoulder to shoulder with AJ, then we would be neutral to each other. And then if I turned my back to AJ, that is negative body language. Agreeable people who are looking for attention, approval, and acceptance tend to go full positive to everyone they speak to, to such a high degree that it puts too much pressure on the person that they're speaking to. This makes the other person feel, uh, have some anxiety get on them. They're feeling tension and pressure in order to perform and entertain this person they're speaking to. And so for them, it will be easier to opt out of this conversation than to stay in it. So imagine your Iron Man with that, <laughs> that magical nuclear power driven heart. And that beam coming from your chest is just shining directly on the other person nonstop. It's a lot. And at first it sounds, well, why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I want to give the other person attention? Sure. Why wouldn't I want to show them that I'm interested in them? Why wouldn't I want them to know that I'm listening? But as Johnny said, we again are putting all of our focus on the other person. We're shining this beam straight from our chest at the other person. And all it does is actually repel the other person. It makes them uncomfortable. It's too much of a need to please the other person non-verbally. So we talked about shrinking, making yourself smaller. We've talked about fully facing someone. The other one that we see a lot of on our video work in X Factor Accelerator is avoidance of eye contact. <laughs> so you'll find yourself unable to look people in the eye for fear of judgment, for fear of being found out, or maybe just general discomfort. But again, what that is signifying, not only a lack of confidence, but it's signifying that your needs are not that important. It doesn't matter where you're looking. Like, you're just happy to be there. You know, it's it's making yourself small in nonverbal ways that send a signal of a lack of confidence. And actually elevates the status of everyone around you to your own detriment. I think the last one I just want to throw in there is when you're in, in the context of this communication, when you're speaking to somebody that you're interested in or you want approval of or that you like, the other part is we have the full positive body language and uh, then we have the eye contact going on. But for the person who is putting the low value person who is giving them all the attention, who is giving them all the positive body language. It makes it hard for them to then be at their best verbally because they're giving them all their attention. The attention and pressure is feeling between the two people. And on top of that, to get away from that tension and pressure, they tend to self soothe. So they'll close off and they'll be, they'll become insular. Right. They'll, you'll cross your arms and rub yourself. Yeah. Touching yourself is self-soothing. Grabbing your phone and putting your phone in front of you to block you. Clutching drinks into your chest. Right. Was Holding a big your, one. your drink close to you, close to your heart even. So another one that I want to point out, and um, we have one client who we, we've called him out a couple times on this, and he, he didn't realize it. But again, he was in such a, a strong state of being supplicative around everyone, just wanting them to like him. You actually, your vocal tonality changes and it ends everything on an upward trajectory. Mm -hmm. And what ends up happening is you, you almost sound like you're asking a question of the other person. You sound unsure of yourself. You're lacking again in conviction and confidence in what you're saying. And in that, you're basically allowing the other person's opinions, views, values, needs, wants to hold the power in any conversation. So paying attention to your behavior patterns in the way that you speak, your tonality, the way that you carry your body, and how you are going about getting this attention, approval, and acceptance from others by begging for it is one low-value 
behavior pattern that we want to avoid, especially when building relationships with people, seeking high value people in our life. 